All right, everybody. Reggie, the front row report. I got Edgar from Message to Venus. How's it going, man? Everything good, man. Everything good. Enjoy the the, the life on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's definitely a that's definitely an interesting lifestyle, and definitely always a fun experience being on the road and touring. Man, it's it's got to be crazy. You guys are getting ready for uh, to go out on the road again. I think on Saturday. Is that right? You guys are. Oh. Uh, yeah. Today we have a show, and um, tomorrow we have another show. So, yeah, we, we're going to be on the road like for two more weeks. Man, that's crazy. You guys yeah. are going to be up here in Elkhart, Indiana, not too, not, not too long from now, man. How are the shows going? So, so far, it's been, uh, you know, some of them have been you know, something way different than we expected. And, uh, like, you know... Uh, fan wise and you know the support and all the stuff and uh some of them have been interesting and some of them have been like amazing like you know way different hmm. so so far it's been really good what what is it about certain shows um because obviously some shows are going to be great some shows are good some aren't great some are amazing what does it take to really make a show you know stand above other shows Actually, I could give you a good example. Um, not, not, not long ago, we went to Midland, uh, Texas, right? Okay. So this show was, well, this, this venue is in the middle of nowhere, like <laughs> right in the middle of, you know, they, they got like the oil thingy going on and, you know, no, nothing, like nothing, just a venue and that's it. Wow. So we, we, we pull up and we were like, who, who's coming to this show? Like, <laughs> for real, this is the middle of nowhere. So. Thankfully, we, we went in and, and uh, we, we met the owners and stuff like that. And they have like a big, huge barbecue. So nice. doing pork chops and, you know, do, making food for, for the clients and also for the bands. So we were like, all right, so we get to eat something. And, you know, that's that's awesome, you know. Yeah. And then we were talking to, to the owner and he told us like, yeah, you have a $100 tap on beer or whatever you want to, you know, drink. We we're like, what? For real? So the show, the show is supposed to start like at nine, right? Yeah. So he goes like, yeah, can we wait until, let's say like 10? So we could, you know, wait for the people that I'm waiting for. And we were like, all right, cool, no, no problem. So actually at 10, the venue was packed. Huh. And when I say packed, it was full. Nice. And we were blown away because people, they, you know, people at Milan, First, they're, they're very, you know, very humble. Second of all, they got a lot of money because of, of the oil, you know. And that they want, you know, they get bored. I don't know. They went to the show, buy a lot of merch. They got, they got a great time. Nice. And uh, actually, that blew me away. That was, I don't know, that so far, nothing has topped that. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like that. That's going to be tough to top, too. That, that just sounds like, yeah. like the best show ever. <laughs> oh, well, for me, it was the best show so far. <laughs> nice, man. So, playing some of these uh, some clubs and bars and some of these smaller settings, those shows are definitely fun. There's something something about those settings that just makes makes a show better. You know, the arena tours, arena shows are great, but I, I personally like the club settings because you're up close and personal with the band. The band is up close and personal with the fans. Um. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like from your guys' point of view and standpoint playing those uh, playing those shows that uh, you're just so close? I have played, but for example, I have, I have played you know festivals and, and big stages mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and I totally agree with you. You know, and uh, at, at some point, you know, the, the arenas and stuff like that, it could be you know it could be awesome sound wise and you know uh, performance wise and stuff like that, but. Me personally, I, I really love to be up close and personal with my fans, you know, uh -huh. and I could, you know, reach them and, and hear them and, you know, and uh, the small venues is, is more of a, like a more intimate connection with the fans. You know, big, you know, big stages, they, they look, you know, they, they make it look like bigger and, oh yeah, he's up there, I'm way down here. And I don't like that. You know, I really like you know, to be in the same level, like, with the people right there, and uh, uh -huh. I love those shows, I, I don't know, there's something, there's a little bit of more magic in small venues. 
Yeah, there's just something in the air in those places that, you know, it, it just comes off better. You know, the, the, the festivals are great because thousands and thousands and thousands of people, sometimes 100,000 people, which is great, you know. But the, the, the small settings, it's so intimate and up close and personal, and sometimes those shows get crazier, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, you guys are out uh, promoting The Envelope, the last album. Which is great. I had a chance to check some of it out not too long ago. It's a gr- great music, man. It's it is it is very good. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about making that record? Well, actually, the record um, it, it it was meant to be at some point. You know, Jandre, the, the lead singer, uh, he got a. I don't know. His mind is like always creating something new, and obviously, we are. You know, we're a team and we put, you know, every everybody puts like a little piece. But, you know, making an album as a, as, as a group, not as different, you know, you know, every idea went into every piece. And uh, it wasn't a, it, it wasn't a, uh, uh, how can I say, it wasn't a, a big, uh, oh my God, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot the word. What can I say? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a challenge to make an album feel good and right okay. at that point. Of, you know, at, at that point of, of our life, you know, because everybody was putting a little piece. So it, it didn't really make sense to us just to write some songs and and write some you know lyrics and music mm-hmm. and whatever. And actually, making the the strip song, uh, the, the the cover strip. Um, it, first of all, it's an honor. To, to make a cover out of uh, the best mode. But second of all, is it's really fun to play that song live. Yeah. So, so making the album was really, it was interesting, fun, and obviously it has a lot of us, you know, and a lot of the essence that we, you know, wanted to, to get out and people to hear. Awesome, yeah. And, and speaking of Strift, man, it, you guys did a great job on that song. It's It's... It's very good. It's almost hypnotic, even, I think. It's just uh, the guitar tones, the vocals, the bass, just everything about it is so well put together that you just lose yourself listening to that, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, we, we are 80 fans, and, and we love the pitch vault, and, uh, and uh, I don't know, it, it, making tribute to, to a band like the pitch vault, that should be a, a, you know, something good and big. So that was we, you know, we were aiming for something good and big. Awesome. At least making that tribute, you know. So why did you choose Stripped of all the songs you could have done? Um, Stripped is a song that actually, you know, music-wise is is way, way, way like different from the normal Depeche Mode that you hear. It, it was very simple. The very the, the original. You know, strip. It's very simple. You know, piano and, and, and piano and voice actually. And uh, we just wanted to modify it, obviously. And we love that song because it's, it's so simple, but at the same time, it has so much emotion in it. Uh-huh. So we really wanted to to make it like sound bigger. We we always like talk about that song. Like, yeah, how how can we you know do this and do that? We were playing out you know a long time, like playing with the song and stuff like that. So. It just makes sense. It was it was the song to be awesome. Yeah, awesome. Man, and you you guys' music and live show has been praised by a lot of people. A lot of people are really digging it. And among those people I found Shannon Larkin and R J Hale have are just crazy about you guys, man. When you when you hear stuff like that from your peers, you know, especially those two guys especially what is it? What does it mean to you, and what does it do for you personally as a musician to hear all of these guys just saying all of this great stuff? Well, it, at, at some point, the first time I I, I, I read it, uh, my heart stopped. Nice. But for more than a second, I was like, "What? For real? You know, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a musician, but I'm a fan also. Mm-hmm. So." It's, it's hard stopping. I don't know. It, 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 you, you start thinking about a lot of things like, oh my God, I have to, you know, play better and I have to do this better and blah, blah, blah. It, it, it's, 
sets you up, you know, and uh, I, I, I feel more of a, and obviously I, I, I really like my point of view of being a fan instead of the musician. Right. So every time I go out and play and, 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 and I, I try to connect with the people, I, I want them to know that I'm actually a fan. I'm a fan of my fans, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, to hear these big guys talking about us, it was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, what am I doing right now? <laughs> what is happening, you know? It's hard stopping. I don't know. It's, it's just, it, it makes me be better and, and work harder, you know? Yeah, and I think no matter what, no matter how big you get, no matter how big a band gets, you're always going to be a fan, you know? No matter whether you're a band, press, or even a fan. Everybody's a fan of something. Everybody's a yeah. fan of, you know, which is, it, it's really cool, you know, there's, and to, to hear those guys saying all of that cool stuff, it's just, you know, it's humbling, but it's also got to be like, how, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, that's a factor, it's like, wow, and and how, how do they, you know, I, I don't even know, I, I just, I just read it, I was like, what, for real? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, and the fans are the fans are loving it just as much. In fact, I read the 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 tour that you guys are on and getting ready to go to keep going with. It's been funded by ten thousand dollars from your fans through a campaign. Um, yeah. man, th- to know that the the fans and the listeners believe in your music that much, as much as they're showing, man. Tell me about how that makes you feel as you know, as a musician who's putting out this music that they're embracing so much? Um, actually, when we, when we first out, we were planning to do the, the, the tour and all this stuff. We were like, oh my God, there's so many things that we have to take care of, you know, um, and uh, the bus and the, the gas, the food and whatever. And, you know, there's so many things that you have to con- reconsider over, you know, the tour. So we were like, okay, let's let's do a campaign. Let's do, you know, let, let's think. Let's think. We, we obviously interact with our with our fans, but mm-hmm. let's let's see what happens if they really, you know, want us to be on the road. And actually, uh, the first, let's say, the first three three weeks, we we're like, oh my god, this is halfway. I don't know if we're gonna make it. And we were like, oh, no, you know, and talking to our friends and stuff like that and, and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. At the end, we surpassed the numbers. Like, awesome. we really... And every time I get the opportunity to say this, it's like, thank you guys. You know, this means a lot. It, it, this is this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I, will, I won't really disappoint you, you know. This really marked something in my life. So, it, you know, the... the the people that supported us and and obviously our fans, they're amazing. They're they're everything to us. So we will repay it, you know, we will repay it doing good music and doing great shows. And obviously hugging you guys in the show and grabbing a beer. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. And fans, they don't realize, and a lot of people don't realize, just how much a tour actually does cost. I mean, like you said, you've got to pay for gas, the van, the bus, the you know, all of this stuff. You know, if you've got people working for you, like sound techs, you got to pay them. Merch people, got to pay for merch. All of this stuff. You know, and it's it's not cheap to go on tour. It's very expensive to do. Um, yeah. You know, and a lot of a lot of bands are touring to the campaigns and and raising because, you know, it it's great to get the fans involved and to let them be a part of the experience. You know, because in the end, when the fans are funding it and helping you fund it, you're able to give more back to them, and they get more out of it too. You know, they yeah. get more than just a show. They get the feeling of knowing. I was a part of this more than just coming to the show. Yeah, that's, so. that's completely true. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. So finally, the envelope, the album. What does it mean to you? And you know, what does it mean in the grand scheme of things with of you as a musician? Well, the envelope, um, uh, lyric wise, is it's all about stories. You know. Um, we are fans of, of movies and we are fans of, of, of storytelling and stuff like that. So, um, 
it has a it has a kind of it, it does different kind of stories. If, if I could explain it, it's, it's more of a different like clips. Every song is like different clip. So if you can hear a song and the second one, it doesn't make sense to the first one. But on the second album that we're doing, they're gonna mix match with those songs that we throw in in the envelope. Huh. So the envelope is kind of a message, you know, that we're sending like different stories and different messages because on the second album, Victims and Villains, is gonna like reconnect with those stories in the past. Hmm. Interesting. So that's 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 the whole the whole, you know, like connection between this album and for me, the envelope is no more and no less than a story, you know, different mm -hmm. different short stories. Nothing personal, nothing, you know. It's more of a different, you know, stories. Little stories. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, man. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to talk to me. It's been great taking some time to talk to you, man. I hope we can do this again soon. Of course, yeah. And it's been an honor, and thank you so much. For real. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. See you.